So hello, this is Rahul and welcome to this very special interview. As we all know that uh, AFC Asian Cup is just around the corner and we are starting our build-up. And today we have a very special man, Mahanajuddin Wadu. He has been part of the Indian national team which participated in the 2011 AFC Asian Cup. So it's going to be an intriguing conversation we all know. But before that, I would like to remind you all that this man has played for all the three top clubs in Kolkata Maidan, Mohammedan, East Bengal and Mohun Bagan. A feat that few players have achieved and not only that, he has scored the winning goal for India against Bangladesh in the SAF Cup final in Karachi. And towards the end of his career, he has also helped Chennai NFC to lift the ISL trophy. So it uh, has been an incredible career for this man. But what do sir, as you have been part of that team in 2011, do you see any difference to, uh, in, this, in this current team compared to that team, in the, especially in the mentality and uh, fitness level and all? Hi Rahul, uh, thank you so much for invite. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, when we talk about Asia Cup 2011, I think uh, we all uh, the, the squad we had there in uh, in the team. I mean, in that time in 2011, we all have a very we are we all shared a very good memories all together. And uh, I am very very fortunate to be the part of that 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 squad. And um, thank you when you said I have scored the final goal in Bangladesh in 2005. That was my first uh, national team appearance. So, oh. I have been very lucky to be part of the national team. Yes, uh, I think uh, India in 2011 uh, Asia Cup, I think uh, we had a great squad. You know, we had uh, a yeah. great preparation also because that was the first time I think oh. in the history of Indian football when all of us, we stayed together for at least, I mean, six or eight months. Eight months, yeah. I, I'm not sure how much, how many days, but uh, how many months. But this was, it was, it was a longer period than before. The preparation was good. We were in, uh, we went to Barcelona. We went to, we went to Dubai. Also, we had some games. We had some friendlies. Wonderful. Uh, and when playing in that cup, Asia Cup 2011, in, uh, uh, I think it was a great experience uh, playing such uh, such good teams. And I think uh, all the players, when you you know talk about the squad, I think we had some great players of the. Of the national team uh, of the of, of, of our nation, Bachin Bhutia, Sunil Chetri was there, Renidi Singh was there, and you know Subrata Paul, Climax Lawrence. You know, I, I think that was the best squad at that time, and uh, uh, not uh, not to forget uh, uh, to mention Bob Hogton, Sir Bob Hogton. He was he was leading the team. I think it was a great experience, and we had a great bunch of players. And now also, you know. But the time has changed now. Indian football is, you know, moving to the right direction. Um, there are a lot of improvements, if you can see, in Indian football yeah. from 2011 to 2023-24. I think uh, the journey has been good, and I have played a little part also in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, being in that journey uh, from uh, 2011 to 2017 when I played. Uh, as you said, uh, also said when I played for the ISL teams. And uh, I think uh, the huge credit goes to the uh, Indian Super League also because uh, um, since uh, Indian Super League was introduced, I think uh, there is a lot of improvement in Indian football because now you see the intensity of the game, the the confidence within the players, the mentality of the players is grown like anything. And now I think we look like a more confident team. Yeah, it doesn't mean that when we played in for the national team in Asia Cup, we are not confident. We are also confident. We are also prepared. But I think now also the team is looking more confident. The mentality is good. The players they are more, they have got more experience, more experience, exposure. They play, they are playing with the with the best foreigners in ISL. You know now also in the national team they you know they look more confident with the ball. We play attacking football. So now when I personally see national team playing, I'm always hopeful to win against any team. So that is that is that is the right. Uh, that right thing which has happened in Indian football right now. We don't play, uh, uh, we don't play to draw. We don't play to, you know, uh, to defend. We always try when we get inside the pitch. We always try to win. We try to play attacking football. Yeah, some of the games were not in our favor, but every every time the international team is gone on the pitch, they have they have displayed a wonderful football on the pitch. Yeah, as you said, you know, it was such a nice experience as you and you also summed up the change in mentality of this current team. But, you know, despite one similarity that this time also it will be in Qatar 
but there is another similarity that this time also our team will be facing australia in the same game i think you got substituted in the second half in that match in 2011 against australia uh, so do you think that this team has potential last time the score line was 4-0 uh, in favor of australia so do you think that this team this current indian team has that potential to change that score line i think uh, rahul uh, it will be a big test for us because we are playing against australia and uh, for us it will give us an idea where we stand today because we have been playing uh, with uh, the teams from the middle east we have been playing uh, uh, against uh, you know good teams in the in the in asia now i think australia will be the big test for us and uh, that will tell us uh, where we stand today and it's not going to be an easy game uh, but as i said yes uh, the team uh, they have got the winning mentality they have got the winning mentality but if you see australia you know they are they are the best in asia so i think uh, i think i think it's going to be a good game i'm not sure mm -hmm. about uh, the result but i think yes india is going to give the best in this game and they know if uh, they get success in this game the rest of the games are going to be, going to be very easy for them but it's not going to be for sure 100% is not 100% is not going to be easy game for india but again i'm saying it's going to be a big test for us to see where we stand today uh, in 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 football in asia so sir as you now you have coached some top tier i league clubs like real kashmir and mohammedan sc so i think you are the best person to answer this next question so uh, it's on igor stream match you know he has been appointed as our head coach since 2019 and since then we have witnessed uh, many highs and lows especially this year we have uh, own three titles like hero tri nation intercontinental and saf uh, so do you think that uh, our coach igor stimaj is guiding us on the right direction well i think uh, yes uh, right now i can say yes because um, uh, since he has been the coach of the national team uh, we have seen some positive things and we have seen something uh, something going uh, in a good direction we are as you said we have won some titles also uh uh but as i said rahul uh, asia cup is going to be a big test for us is going to be the test for the uh till now igor is doing a great job uh is is because what when we see international team playing football right now we see there is something we see something we, we see there is some hope when they are on the pitch we see a lot of positives we see some attacking football we see the mentality of the players they have got the they have got the winning mentality and that is all what we are expecting from a team and from uh, and also expecting from the coach i think uh, everything is going in the right direction now but i think yes uh, uh, to to represent asia cup to be the part of the asia cup to play against australia Uzbekistan and Syria I think is going to be a very very big challenge and uh, and uh, uh I don't know I don't know so oh, you know uh, I have seen a, a lot of interviews when Igor said he needs a lot of time which I think is 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 a genuine thing is a genuine thing to ask because when you work with the players uh when you want to work with the players you need time to to uh, to to develop the strategies to develop the tactics you know and uh, to keep the group together as i said when we played asia cup we were all to, i mean together for more than 6 months uh, to do the preparation and uh, yeah i think uh, uh, the national team is uh, you know they played uh, uh, last month they played uh, a game and uh, they are together and now i think if they get uh, uh good time to good time to be with uh, with pvd each other to work with the uh, uh, each other and igor gets time to work with the team i think uh, i think uh, he's going to do uh, good for us he's going to be bad for uh, good for us and i think we are going to get something out of it and uh, as you said also as i'm saying uh, we are in the di right direction we are in the right direction but as again the test is going to be the australia We, have, we just have to wait and see where we are. Of course, it will be. But as you said, that he cost him as repeated that uh, he need more time. And we have also seen that before Intercontinental Cup. Also, our team 
had a one month long camp and we have all seen the result and uh, but now before the afc asian cup our team will only have a 13 days camp because the isl will end we'll have a pause on the 29 december and after that all the players will fly to doha to start the camp but do you think that 13 days is enough for such a you know heavyweight tournament I think whatever we have in hand, we have to make sometimes just use out of it. Uh, no excuses, uh, and uh, the team is fit, and the players, you know, they are, they know each other now. The squad is almost the same. Uh, they are um, all all the players, you know, the ISL squad. They are playing the games. There is no fitness issue. They know the tactics. They know the rules. I think 13 days. I think yes. Yeah, it is good, good enough. Uh, good enough time. It's good enough time for uh, uh, for uh, for uh, for uh, for Igor to go with the team. But yes, I said, in, as I said before, if you have more time with the team, you can work a lot of things. But when you don't have time, you have just 13 days. You have just 15 days as a coach. You just have to go with it. So uh, I think. Uh, I think uh, is 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 it's a good opportunity. Also, you know, sometimes you don't get much time. Also, sometimes sometimes when you have some international games, you get only two days, three days before the game, maybe five days before the game. But at least you have 13 days, and I think you can at least plan something for uh, for for the games ahead. But uh, I would like to ask you another question, as you have predominantly played as a defender throughout your whole career. That uh, unorally, you know, we will have no unorally in this upcoming prestigious tournament. But we have Sandesh Jingan, Mehtab Singh, Rahul Veke. But do you think that uh, against team like Australia, Uzbekistan, Syria, uh, we won't feel the absence of Anwar Ali? That uh, Sandesh Jingan and Mehtab Singh can fill in his shoes, especially the way Anwar Ali has played throughout the whole year. Well, Anwar is a uh, is a good player. He is he is he's been doing well. But unfortunately, when he's injured, you can't help it. But at the same time. When you have players like uh, Rahul Beke, you have players like Sandesh. When you have players like uh, Mirinder Galot in the team, when you have Singlen Sana as an option, when you have Mehtab Hussain as an option, I think they are also equally good. Uh, uh, I think you will have options in the team. Yes, uh, Anwar uh, is the one who can also uh, give you the goals in set pieces, and he is. Uh, Playing him and Sandesh is like uh, they are they gel well as it as, a, as as two defenders on the pitch. They have got good combination. But at the same time, I think Rahul and Sandesh, Mehtab and Sandesh, I think uh, they are equally good. I don't think it should be a big issue. I don't think uh, it should be a big problem. Uh, Rahul, Singlen Sana, Narinder, Mehtab Hussain, and Mehtab Singh, I think uh, they are equally good. And I don't think it is a problem when you have options like this. I don't think uh, Anwar is is going to be a big. Big miss, but I think yes. If Anwar was there, maybe, uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe in in uh, in a way, what I say is it would be more, more, uh, more uh, good uh, pair for Igor to play uh, if he would choose Anwar and uh, Sandesh as as a as a as a stopper backs. But yes, now Sandesh and. Uh, Rahul and Sandesh and Meta, Sandesh and Narinder, Sandesh, Sandesh and Chengal and Sana, uh, they can also you know play the part as they have got good experience to play in ISL and also play in the national team. Hope our Indian team won't feel the absence of Anwar Ali, but of course uh, the question I want to ask you that you know in that 2011 AFC Asian Cup also you have witnessed Sunil Chetri scoring a goal. And you know every football interviews you know surround Sunil Chetri. You know he has been the top discussion in Indian football. So just uh, you know what kind of as you have you know you have witnessed him so close. So just I want to ask you that you know what kind of mentality he brings to this team as a captain on or off the field. But I think uh, Sunil, when you talk about Sunil, he is a great leader. He is a great example. He is an inspiration for every uh, you know every every youth. Every player uh, in the country, uh, we have shared uh, uh, some good memories when I played, when we played together for the national team and for the clubs. And Sunil is a great example, and he brings a lot of positive energy in the team. He has he has got that winning mentality. He he is he is the leader 
on the pitch and he's the leader of the pitch he he helps the young players he is okay. working very hard on the pitch being the senior most player in the squad and the way he is playing the way he is putting his 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 first on the pitch i think it's it's wonderful it's it's so good to watch because at this age also he is not looking he is not looking tired he is not looking he has given up he is always hungry to score goals for the club for the country yes i know he has got the passion he wants to win every game for the country he wants to win every game for the club and being part of the sunil being sunil part of the national team it's a big advantage because when you have players like sunil on the pitch when you have players like sunil who is a leader on the pitch and it gives a lot of confidence to the players and uh, for sure when he is on the pitch we are expecting some goals from him because he is always hungry for the goals as i said and uh, and uh, at this age also he is scoring goals and uh, uh, people are going to people are going to you know wait and watch how he is going to play against australia and i am very hopeful that he will score goals for us in this upcoming uh, asia cup so so that is all uh i would want to say and uh, i want to wish him all the best um because uh, we have played together and uh, in fact the whole team because the whole team is uh, the whole nation is watching the team and uh, we will be cheering for them from from here and uh, we are hoping that uh, uh, they will make every every indian fa- fan proud of, of uh, display they will show their initiative the real is still at the age of 39 you know he is delivering for his team and also setting benchmark for the other players but uh, this will be my last question apart from sunil chetri any other player you are looking forward to in this tournament i mean for indian player only i think uh, yeah yes i think uh, gurpreet will be a very good uh, 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 player to watch because when we played last time in asia cup i think it was subroto subroto mm. called in the goal and and uh, playing in subroto uh, playing in asia cup subroto was uh, given the name of spider name spider man he earned that name because he played so good against all these teams uh, when you playing when you are playing against uh, the teams who are higher ranked uh, than you and it's always uh, uh, going to be very challenging for the goalkeepers and gurpreet singh sandhu is going to be a man to watch for the national team also because he has to be a big role uh, in the goal for the india yeah it has been an intriguing conversation you know we got a lot of insight and thank you for giving us time and especially uh, i'd like to say that now you are managing that chit one fc in nepal super league so thank you that uh, even if, with that hectic schedule you have given us time and uh, we can't wait for the afc asian cup to start you know it's going to be a uh, very special tournament for indian football as well and uh, i would like to request all the fa- all the rep sports follower that to stay tuned to rep sports uh, because uh, i can assure you that many more such interviews will be coming on your way as a build up for the afc asian cup and also me and shopnil will be there at qatar to trail the indian football team so thank you for watching and stay tuned to rep sports <laughs>